Several years ago, we uh, polled our employers that hire our graduates. We asked questions about what is it that would really make our graduates really stand out. And uh, they came back to us and said, you know, you do an awesome job in terms of uh, preparing your graduates technically. Um, what all schools could do a better job at is preparing their graduates with some of the soft skills. And so when we asked them to explain to us what that was, we came up with Price of Success. Professionalism. Respect. Integrity. Caring. And engagement. It's not just something that is said, like a lot of organizations come up with a motto, and they say it once at a yearly session, and then never go through or do anything with it. All of us and all of the instructors, professors that we interview, it's something that they have to embody, otherwise they're not gonna be here. The students, they have to embody it as well, because of the fact that it's one of those things that all of those qualities are huge qualities that employers are looking for. When employers call, they don't ask about their grades right away. They say, tell me, was Johnny uh, dependable? Did he show up on time? Was he have regular attendance? That's what they want to know is like, they can teach somebody something, but it, they want to know their character. Then you can bring in the price factor and say, their students are living it. They do put a lot of stress on what it means to be a good employee, what it means to be a good coworker, um, professional development, making sure that when you graduate, you're ready to leave school and enter the workforce. Respect is something we really try to embed in all of our classes here. So as you notice, some of them are um, saying Mrs. Chenard or Dr. Cohen or Dr. Jacobson, just as their colleagues would like to be called in the workplace. Integrity, the job, that you're going to apply for. You want to make sure that you're able to trust them and they're able to trust you. To know people and about their character. You just don't want to enter into a workforce and say, yeah, I'm here, I can work for you. Can I get a paycheck, by the way? When I see or connect with a caring person, it's just that little extra that may want me to consider bringing that person on as faculty or working with that person in a collaborative manner. I am also a hiring manager in my field and a lot of times I run into guys that are highly qualified and I probably should hire them but they cannot communicate, they cannot hold a conversation, they cannot engage. When it comes to herzing, use, using a model like Price really teaches students that it's not just about what's in that textbook. It's about being able to look people in the eye, shake their hands, and do business. The price of success, we talk about that throughout our curriculum. We talk about it on day one when we go through orientation with the students. And all the way up through graduation, we really push the, the whole concept of what that means, not only in becoming a successful student and graduate of the school, but becoming a successful professional in their career.